Hello, Incredible One. Darnell A. Jervy here with your weekly Incredible Factor Moment tip. This week's tip, I'm calling it affectionately the cab ride from hell. You're going to think I'm crazy, and that's okay, but I have to share with you about my experience because this is essential that you grasp this and you grasp this now so that you can grow an effective business. So as you know, for the past two weeks, I've been traveling and doing personal development, working on my business instead of in my business. And last week, I was in Miami. Once the event that I was attending while it finished, I decided I wanted a little R&R, &R, so I jumped in a cab to go and get a massage. And so I jumped in the cab, get this cab driver from hell, you guys. I mean, he was just from hell. There's no way for me to say it nicely. And I proceeded to ask him one question because he went a different way than what the concierge had told me at the front desk so that I would know exactly where I was going and how to get there. And, you know, I find out that he actually took the long route because he wanted to charge me more. But anyway, let me get back to the, the main part of the story. So I asked him a question, and in asking him that question, he went off on me. He proceeded to call me everything except for Darnell A. Jervy, and I'm not talking about the nice words, you guys. And so that brings me to this week's tip. You guys know that I'm really, really big on customer service, and I'm really big on building clients for life. And so I want to share with you how you can take an experience that may be uncomfortable when one of your clients or prospects is asking you a question and instead of becoming defensive or rearing back and, and ready to call them something that you shouldn't call them, I know you wouldn't do that, but just kind of go with me for the purposes of the analogy. What I want you to do instead is recognize that sometimes your clients will need to ask questions to feel comfortable with the level of investment or doing work that they've never done before. And it's okay. You're brilliant. You're incredible and they need you. That's why they're having the conversation with you in the first place. So what I want you to do instead is take a deep breath. Think about what they need to hear in order to really understand why the work that you're going to be doing with them is exactly what it is and make them feel comfortable in that moment. Listen, you're on the journey of a lifetime and there are people who want to jump in the car and go with you. They're going to ask you questions. They're going to ask you why you zigs instead of zagging. They're going to ask you why you put your turning signal on. Reassure them and let them know that on this journey, you've got their best interests at heart and you're going to provide them with a view that allows them to see all of the beautiful landscape and enjoy everything that goes along with building their best life. So you see, you can take even a miserable cab ride and apply it to your business and allow you to really, really grow and develop clients for life. So I want you to think about how you can position yourself to always be offering exactly what they need to make the best decision so that they can gain an experience in working with you. This has been Darnell A. Jervy with your weekly Incredible Factor tip saying be better, be stronger, and more than anything, be incredible. Take care.